This is the new addition to my collection of uh, ships in uh, trains just set as uh, very simple locomotives. Uh, minimum uh, poly detail so as to not uh, make too much of a hit on the um, graphics card. Uh, so And really designed for sort of background um, background use or, or just if you set a bit of track and have it um, so that it's just sailing away from a harbour or towards a harbour this is sitting on invisible track and you can also see here the um, versions I've done or the version I've done um, that's laid up on the mud a schooner that's without the sails um, somewhat simplified rigging uh, there it is again and over here are the uh, rigging only tied up versions of my three and four mast schooner. Uh, for this two mast one I've slightly darkened the hull, um, uh, the wood on the hull. But you can see here it's a very, I think for the, for the size of the model, I mean it comes out at about, I think about um, two thirds of a megabyte. So it's not a major investment as far as the graphics uh, card is concerned and I've kept everything as simple and as limited as possible so no real complex rigging just the basic uh, ropes that I could uh, identify on a very basic plan and um, as I say with the, this as the set as a loco and this one here this version here just as a scenery item then the idea is to fill up your um, turn of the century, 19th, 20th century harbours um, with these tied up at the quayside and maybe have one or two ships sailing away or sailing in. Um, you can set them as I say as locomotives if you give it a little more speed but the, uh, the thing to do is I mean, potentially the engine spec will let you, <laughs> will let you get, get these up to almost 50 mile an hour, 50 knots which would be, <laughs> would be extraordinary and speed this is about the top speed look four mile an hour four knots uh, that's about the top speed that you want to uh, sail these at uh, they wouldn't have been very fast ships at all but they did carry a lot of very general merchandise of all types around the coast of the british isles and across northwest europe the coast of northwest europe and as far down i think as um, not into the bay of biscay it depends where they're um, where the uh, ships were licensed to operate and um, so and so if you want to um, uh, see when these are available um, and you have trains of course because that's what they run in then go to the trains forum and I've got it down here there we are the trains discussion forum um, so this is the website for it and you're looking for the discussion forum the Irish narrow gauge thread there we are and it's that because that's what I originally started with now but of course I've done many other things since then that was when Ricky and I first set, set the whole thing up and you need to go to page 71 and here we are look, that's my most recent announcement of the update and saying you know what was available and that sort of thing and that will keep you up to date on what's available and there's Bob and Bob Sanders has replied there a couple of replies from him um, and uh, and he's excellent by the way coal mining um, figures really good indeed and um, so there we are and uh, you can you say you can find out when my and my website is there's my website that's the 17th of January this year 2019 update and uh, the next update will in, will have all of these my three little ships there three schooners will be included and probably the next thing I'm going to do is probably GWR freight wagon or two uh, so let's just have a look back here here it is look, it's just beginning to make make way can't leave in the harbour the sea's a bit glass like but you know what can you do and of course the wind is going to blow all over the place so the sails aren't going to react to that just going back to this um, I would very much recommend a visit if you're ever over in Ireland, here in Ireland. Um, live along to Enniskillen in Fermanagh. 
and go to Darling Street, it's very straightforward to reach and it's just this doorway here there it is, that's the doorway there and go upstairs to the barber shop and um, it's fantastic absolutely fantastic the amount of railway uh, smaller railway items ephemera, books display, something. it's just extraordinary well worth a visit and you don't even have to have your hair cut in order to do it so there we are there's the Irish Narrow Gauge discussion page from trains. Um, I see I've got a notification there I'll have to have a look at. And uh, that's where I'll announce when my uh, schooners will be available to download. And it will be sometime, probably before February 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's been of interest. Um, I'm going to attach a link to this video in my webpage on the, uh, the download item for this um, for this particular schooner as I do for uh, for as many of them as I possibly can you can already see actually there look at the back it's beginning to look a little I mean that's just examples those two are the same I know and those are separate but along with the, the, those barges there you build yourself a harbour you're going to be able to fill it up with all sorts of uh, nice looking ships and there's plenty of others I think online you know available for trains so these are just adding to that there we are if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment or question at any time and i'll aim to answer it and please subscribe to my channel ing for trains on youtube